Hello and welcome to another Raggies beer review on a Friday night. Apologies about the beer wall. It is what it is. Uh, after the one's wedding vows, it will be getting replenished in a fashion at least. So today I'm off over to Langley Mill to the great people at um, Bang the Elephant for a collaboration where, which was launched in the Cock and Oop which is a fantastic pub in Nottingham city centre in the lace market area, um, next to St. Mary's church. Yeah, memory serves me correctly. I did used to work on that church now and again, I hated working on it, but uh, on the gardens, not the church itself. So um, this is a release, but it's a release with a story. So we'll, we'll, we'll focus on the story as well. It's from Bang the Elephants. It's a collaboration with Share Wear Clothing Scheme and 47 Degrees Coffee and it's called I've Got Nothing to Wear and actually I've done I did some short videos and, and the launch and they gathered quite a bit of uh, um, views off the internet so it's all good it's all good to promote um, in this day and age what the reasons behind this beer so it's a coffee banoffee porter, which sounds amazing, as you can gather. Um, the beer itself, right, let me get, me, me, get, get the old magnifying glass out. So here we go. Shareware are a registered charity on a mission to end clothing poverty in the UK. They provided high quality clothing choices free of charge to 80,000 people in the last nine years across the East and West Midlands, South Yorkshire and North London. After the recent launch in Kent of their community shareware franchise network, they hope to roll their franchises out across the UK, empowering local communities to take action for people and planet at the same time. A garbage chuck of clothing goes into a landfill globally at every second. That is ridiculous, isn't it? Here in the UK, good quality clothing can be made available to people in economic crisis instead. Now more than ever, that's why Share is the space where clothing poverty meets clothing waste. Bang the Elephant and 47 Degrees Coffee are very proud to be able to support this charity. And if memory serves me correctly, uh, 50 pence from every can goes towards the charity. 5.2% ABV. But what's more important is the story. You know, <clears throat> we don't chuck any clothing away. We will always take clothing to a clothing bank or something. But I'd rather it go not to some uh, company who you know aren't going to use it right. I mean, if it's really if it's really bad clothing, it goes in the bin for obvious reasons. But a, a lot of the stuff we buy is only worn a matter of so many times, and for it to to go to somebody who needs it is critical. You know, lots of people are struggling for money out there, and it. I mean. A lot of people are having to work silly hours to make ends meet. And, you know, the the, the story behind this is super uh, important. And, uh, you know, it's a thing where, uh, and I know Shareware Clothing was uh, basically on, on their page the other day asking for other collabs, if there's any breweries out there. So if anybody's watching this, if you know a brewery, uh, that's local to there uh, across the east west west midlands south yorkshire london kent area um you know get in touch with your local brewery tell them about what what's happening here and you know let's re reciprocate this and replicate it rather across the country you know the goodness and kindness of people is it, 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 at, at the at the most times where people are struggling the most, people will, will always give themselves because that's what the human race is about. Certainly the good side of the human race. So, in the Bang the Elephant glass, like I say, I've already had this on cask. I've not had this out of can yet. 
uh, it was released um, literally the 5th, so what we're now, um, a few days ago. So, here we go. Obviously, it's a black paw, slightly off, just off white head on this. <clears throat> Coffee, quite prominent on the nose straight away. With that banoffee, <clears throat> the banoffee banana is in the background and, and filtering through. And obviously, in the beer room, I can do a proper review. It's very difficult doing beer reviews when you're in, in, in the city centre or in pubs. Hence why I changed it to a one minute beer review because I didn't want to stand st stand around talking. And, uh, and obviously, if you know Raggy's beer reviews, I will go off on tangents quite regular. Um, more regular than most people. Yeah, the coffee and the um, <clears throat> the banana hit you at, at about the same time. This is at room temperature. The temperature in here today is only 22. Um my wine would start bubbling by now but it's still not bubbling i can see a shaking coming on <clears throat> obviously we are one week away from probably the most one of the most important uh local beer festivals out there certainly for craft beer uh people uh this and darby's beer con uh this is more for me the bigger of the two but um certainly you know it's uh with the amount of breweries down there and the story behind bang the elephant getting in that first year they got in at the last minute kind of dominated what was going off down there and, and last year the combination of them and the emperor's brewery who we better to have is your sidekick um two cracking breweries together We'll talk about more on a different review about that. But I'm so looking forward to it. So, so looking forward to it. I assume that this will be on mini keg, uh, on um, keg down there, short, sorry. Um, and it should be an amazing uh, event. Uh, a lot of good breweries. I'm down there for the full three sessions. Only went on the Friday last year. First year I went both days, all sessions. I actually got, got in for free, uh, thanks to my uh, Navigation Brewery. Last year, uh, only went for the one session, wanted to go the next day. Pennies, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, this year, put a bit of money to one side for this, even though I've got my wedding vows coming up, and, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's, it's my weekend. It's my weekend of doing stuff. Um, <laughs> But in any case, Ooh, good intenseness um, off the coffee, coffee and banana, um, or banoffee rather. Uh, bit of a cheeky little uh, artwork on the can there. I, I do like Bang the Elephant. So, um, you will, if you if you watch their can artwork, there's always a not controversy, no, 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 but there's always, always a bit of tongue-in-cheek. Uh, <coughs> cheek. Um, and uh, I, I never really, there was, there was a, a beer, Hobby One Kenobi, and uh, it came out, and was it that one? There was one anyway, and there were some tissues in the corner, and uh, I never even noticed that. It was my friend who noticed that, and so yeah, there's always a little bit of um, a bit of fun. And that's that's uh, it does it makes you tickle, you know. It's good for a laugh. Um, I've said many times on this channel 
the bang the elephant um will be um obviously covid put them back but they are developing now and uh i'm not sure if both la both the lads are working full time in the brewery now uh, i'm kind of sure one is michael is but i'm not sure about nigel um like i say i've had a lot i've been working so busy myself that i've literally got not done apart from doing beer reviews and going to pubs that's it i've not done any work or any any talking to any of the breweries locally um and uh, nottingham craft beer festival and raggy's raggy's uh renewal uh people will know about me a bit more then people will know about me next week i'll tell you now but uh <coughs> At the beer festival. Hopefully my t-shirt comes. I've ordered a t-shirt. A Raggy's Beer Review t-shirt. But a good one. It looks. it. It's what I want. It's subtle. But it delivers. Yeah. Here and on the back. And it's in a lovely royal blue colour. So maybe that sort of colour. I don't know. Let's hope it looks as nice as it does on, on, the, on the photo that I was sent. And let's hope it gets here in time. I pray it gets here in time. Um, I can but hope. But anyway, back to the beer in question. Oh. That does deliver. Uh, like I say, these guys, their range of beers, and now I'm drinking more cask, I'm seeing beers all the time new beers and it's like wow i just can't keep up um and luckily they're bringing more beers out in cans as well which is great great to see uh hopefully they've got more merch coming out i must admit i, I would like to get uh the jacket the bang the elephant jacket although i'm not so keen on the massive logo on the back a slightly smaller logo it's, i think the logo is massive say if i'm, I'm done i don't know if it's like that but a slightly smaller one something like that uh, for me would be what i would like that's why i with my t-shirt I've, I've done that as well anyway it's not about me it's about these fellas so yeah um for those watching this beer review and i will be tagging in shareware clothing scheme 47 degrees coffee you know what they're doing what they're highlighting is an amazing thing and if you can please support but also share the word share it with your friends family because no one should be chucking good clothing away you know and if and if you know it's going to people that genuinely need it instead of charities that are there just to make money and uh, I'd rather it never went to them sort of charities. I'd rather it goes to someone that I know is going to use it and it goes to the right people. Uh, I'll give you a sp um, just a slight uh, tangent here. Um, we were doing a lot of sorting out in the house, getting rid of stuff, you know. Um, and uh, my daughter, someone had contacted my daughter. And basically it was a, a lady that had gone into... A battered women's refuge you know for obviously that horrible reason and I've, having seen that as a child uh you know it, it it gets close to my heart you know um i won't go into the full details of it because uh it just an, an, annihilates me when, when you know that sort of thing but anything we could we said we said to our daughter sort of says look We've gone through the house, they've got a TV, we've got this, 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 uh, a kettle that we're not using, and pots and pans, cutlery, was redoing the kitchen. And, and you know, it all went to charity to be reused, instead of us chucking it, which we really didn't want to do, but sometimes, you know, and it all went, and it all got used, and, you know, it's not that you don't, none of us want thanks for that. You know, you're just helping somebody. And and, and, and to do that, instead of chucking something, to, to seek out uh, that sort of charity that actually um, does good is an amazing thing. You know, if you can do good, do good.
and that's genuine as well you know it's like when i do people's gardens i'll give them plants yes i charge for my labor because obviously you can't always can't afford to do it for free but i'll give them plants as well and they say what do i use it no no i'm giving you and uh then I have to dead add them anyway. If it's daily, I have to dead add them. So I win anyway. But uh, you know, <laughs> uh, if I didn't dead add them, they won't last very long. But anyway, um, so with you, the air's got to it now. Certainly, the coffee's still there. Coffee's calmed down a bit now, and now the banana and coffee. Are, uh, for me, a much more flowing in and out of flavour and aroma, I mean, aroma, not flavour. Yeah, they both bounce in and around, you know, one comes to the front and the other one comes to the front. If you like your banana, you're going to love this. And there's a message as well. Out of five for me, Good 4.3 out of 5. Thank you for watching. See you soon.